Okay everyone, welcome back. Now we would be starting with an example of Fourier transform, so you can better understand the formula. Uh, the question says that find the Fourier transform of f of x which is equal to x when mod x is less than e and 0 when mod x is greater than e. Okay, so before starting the question, we need to understand what the function is trying to say. So in the I have drawn the number line from minus infinity to minus a the function value is 0 and from a to infinity also the function value is 0 so only in this region from minus a to a our function is having value as x okay so we don't need to consider the uh, uh, other region as the function value is already equals to 0 over there so now uh, writing the Fourier transform formula as 1 upon under root 2 pi from minus infinity to plus infinity f of x e raised to power iota sx. Now uh, substituting the value of f of x in the region minus a to a, okay, we get as this. Rest all I am not writing as it is al already equals to 0. Okay, now considering uh, from minus a to a, now as in last class I have uh, made you seen that e raised to iota sx is also equal to cos sx plus iota sin sx the irregular form uh, I, am, I am expanding it now multiplying it as x cos sx plus iota x sin sx now as this is an odd term what do you mean by odd function when you uh, write f of minus x as minus f of x it is equal to odd term and integration of odd term is always equals to 0 so I am directly putting it as 0 now uh, I am writing this as 2 into under root uh, integration from 0 to a iota x sin sx dx now I am integrating it and I will show you a shortcut for integrating x into sin sx this is called the tabular method for integrating this can also be done by Highlight rule but it is much sim much more simpler to do it with this first write x sin sx uh, it is used for solving when uh, there one term is algebraic and one term is trigonometric just write the first term as x write the integration of second term minus cos sx upon whatever the multiplication constant is in this case it is 1 upon s then in second term it would be like alternate plus minus would be there now differentiation of x is 1 integration of minus cos sx is minus sin sx upon 1 upon s square like 1 upon s was already there and again by, while integrating we get 1 upon s so it is 1 upon s square okay see which is equal to 2 iota under root now just uh, writing this plus uh, this is minus x just multiply this whole row Okay, minus x cos sx upon s plus minus minus so minus minus so plus uh, sin sx upon s square. Now just substituting the uh, limit we get this answer. This is the final answer of this question. I hope it is clear to you. Now we would be going for next next question that is find Fourier transform of f of x equal to cos sx when mod x is less than a and 0 when mod x is greater than a similar to last question in this also we would be requiring just to integrate from minus a to plus a as in rest other cases the value of function is already equals to 0 ok so uh, in this case the formula for your transform would be f of f of x in this case is cos x into e raised to power iota sx into dx ok so in last class i have uh, talked to you about the this formula the formula of this e raised to power px into a trigonometric function just remember it and substitute it and then you will get the answer verify the answer by yourself ok now we would be going for the third question uh, this question I have uh, showed you just to 
make you uh, realize the importance of this formula this integration formula just remember this both integration formula as it would be very useful for you now we will be starting with the third kind of question where we need to deduce something we have been asked to find the fourier transform of f of x uh, see this function is having mod x so we need to first separate it uh, we know that mod x is equals to minus x when x is negative okay so for minus infinity to zero mod x would be minus x so accordingly we would split split the integration part c uh, applying the formula of f of x like fourier transform we are having two different uh, definition of f of x so accordingly we are going to split the limits from minus infinity to zero and from zero to infinity okay after that we would be doing the normal uh, integration Finally, we would be getting f of s equals to under root 2 pi pi a upon a square plus s square. So, this is the value of f of s after applying the Fourier transform formula. The main catch in this question is to deduce this. So, how will we deduce something? For deducing something, we would always use inverse Fourier transform. So, applying inverse Fourier transformation formula in this question, we would be getting 1 upon under root 2 pi integration from minus infinity to infinity f of s into e raised to power minus sx. Over here, just substituting the value of f of s, we are getting this s square. Now, we would be uh, writing this e raised to iota sx in irregular form like in cos and sine terms as cos sx plus iota sin sx okay now we would be just multiplying this as as sin x is an odd function the integration for all for this would be equals to zero so we don't need to integrate it further then we would be getting uh, continuing this equation further which is equals to 1 upon under root 5 integration from minus infinity to infinity a upon a square plus s square into cos sx dx. Now we would be seeing the question. What is asking? In question it is asked to uh, have the integration from 0 to infinite cos xt. We are getting cos xt but instead of x, uh, instead of s they are having t. So we would just right s equals to t just using this as a s is a constant we can write it anything and uh we know that f of x value is e raised to minus a mod x so just substituting this value pi into e raised to minus e into integration from minus infinity to plus infinity a upon a square plus d square cos st into dt. Now what we want in this question? Over here uh, you can see that the integration limit is from 0 to infinite. So uh, we'll just split this into we can rewrite it as 2 into 0 to infinite a upon square plus d square to cos dt now we are just rearranging the terms according to the question as pi upon 2a e raised to minus a from 0 to infinity cos xt a square plus t square into dt we are just uh, assuming this as equals to d okay so this is the final answer of this deduction the one thing that you need to keep in mind is wherever you need to deduce anything just use inverse Fourier transform that's it